Popeye the sailor man, he lives in a caravan. There's a hole in the middle where he paints a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard that one? And we're live, and here we are at uh, another painting a day. Uh, today's painting a day is a bit of a uh, wander into historicals. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I'm I'm actually doing a, a quite a special figure because it's one of the salute figures from not this year, last year. Um, this chappy, the Agincourt chap who's uh, doing that to the French. All right. can't, it's off camera, you can't see what I'm doing, but he's uh, sticking his two little fingers up at the French saying, come and get me. Well, have you got that then? Because you sent mine. You sent me. I got, I've got yours. Yeah, I sent... I sent uh, mine to you, but uh, no, um, BK sent me his one uh, a few weeks ago, so Ooh. I thought well, it'd be nice to paint him up because he is a nice little figure, standalone figure. Then I might be able to sort of incorporate him into my Vikings that I might get done at some point because I've just fallen in love with. Uh, I'm going off on a tangent here. Into I've I've got I've fallen in love with uh, Malifu. Um, it's one of my first because I got into 40k when I first started doing gaming and stuff like that and then I found that there's more to life than 40k and uh, I think it was one of my first sk skirmish games I got involved in and my very first videos that I used to do back in well, about four or five years ago uh, was Malifu and I had all the, the metal ones well I only sold them I sold all them to a guy which I regret now but they all they've all gone but so I thought oh I'll, I'll look at the new plastics and they are really nice so if you if you see my videos coming up soon, there'll be a bit of Malifu orientated, and I've got about I've ordered I think I've got about four crews coming, so there's plenty for me to be doing, but it's not historical. No, so you're doing the Agincourt guy. Who are you going to turn into a Viking? I don't know if I can or not. He he does look very Vikingish, because he uh, I think you can. I don't know, but yeah, I might I might do. Let's see. I don't really want to just. Uh, have him standing there on his own. He's got to be... He's got to have friends. Because at night, in your shop, isn't this true? He believes this. They all come alive, don't they? Yeah, because I've seen that film, Night in the Museum, so it must be similar to that. I haven't got one of them magical tablet things, but yeah, I'm sure they do. Because when I come in, they all seem to be in different positions. Is that right? I always thought that they went back to the same position. No, no, they... they I mean, look... These these two, I've got Mal Malifu formation down here. They're all sort of mixed up and a bit different. So I don't know who's been doing that. Yeah, but wasn't your dad in the shop? No. Nah. I thought you had a day off and your dad was in the shop. Maybe he moved them. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Hey, look. No, seriously, I, I, I had to actually use these for the first time yesterday because I think my eyesight is slightly deteriorate, deteriorating. Well, it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't really surprise me because at the end of the day, um, you are diabetic, and you do, and you do drink gallons of coke. Um, yes, you do. Yeah, no, no, you drink gallons of coke. You eat chocolate bars, beer. I'm sure that I'm sure there's no diet friendly beer. No, well, all the sugar turns to alcohol. It says on the can. Yeah, but not in your body. It turns back into sugar. No, I know it, it doesn't matter because. It doesn't matter if there's any sugar, it's carbs, isn't it? Because the carbs actually turn to sugar, which is probably worse. Anyway, enough about him. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. So let's go and have a look what I'm going to be painting today. This then is what I'm going to be painting uh, today. There are two uh, front rank uh, Peninsula British. Um, I'm painting them on, these are on two pence pieces. Uh, I don't know what that is in foreign money. But... Um, yeah, I'm doing them for the skirmish game, uh, Song of Drums and Shakos. I suppose they could be using sharps practice or whatever, but I ain't got that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. They're very lovely. I haven't painted any front rank British for ooh, quite a while now, so uh, these will be good. Okay, on with the plot. And there you are, so that's what I'm doing. So uh, let's get and crack on. Should we crack on? Crack on. Crack on. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, so about an hour in, um, just banging in the uh, base colours on uh, on the British. The British, I find, are really, really straightforward to paint um, until 
you get to all of the, the lace and stuff, which is the bit that I'm going to do next. But what I'm going to do is just blat on white and then just go over with a very, very careful wash of a thinned out black, which should give me the uh, the uh, the shade, and then I'll just go over the tops of white. Anyway, so that's what I'm getting on. Let's go and have a look at how Nick's getting on. So then, how are you getting on? <laughs> uh, well, I had the lunch, which I, I normally do, but um, I got sidetracked with a Chalk Garden Rail customer order, so I've just been sorting all that out, which has taken me nearly half an hour. Yeah, it's taken me half an hour, so... So you haven't done anything? I've absolutely done nothing since we... What time did we start? About half past... No, we started about 10 o'clock. Quarter past 10. Quarter past 10. And it's now, it's been an hour, we're an hour in, and I've not laid a brush on this figure yet, except for the, I did the uh, the undercoat last night. Well, everybody's seen how I've done in my 45 minutes to an hour. You're just, you're just being idle, aren't you? Let's face it. I, literally, I've had a, an order that's come in. That's, that's about, I don't know, could be about 800, 900 pound order. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's you paid for the month. <laughs> <laughs> I've only just been paid, so. So you can pay off, pay off all them figures that you bought on your credit card. No, I've been all right, actually. I've, I've, I've had some plastic kits laying around, so I've sold some of them. So that's what's financed the, the Malifu project. So I'm busy now doing the f face flesh tones. Flesh tones. Flesh tones. Righto, well, I suppose, I suppose we'll have to catch up with him in a bit then. The camera's gone wonky and gone sideways. Anyway, I'll try and lean this way so as I look as though I'm still centred. Um, so we'll catch up with him in a bit then, uh, now that he's got his, uh, he's got himself under control and concentrating on uh, what he's doing. What what day is it? Huh? What day is it? Uh, I don't know, Thursday, I think. That already, is it? It is already, yes. Where's my bog roll? Let's not worry about things like where's his bog roll. Life is like a box of chocolates. You're not well, are you? You never know where you're going to pick next. No. no. These, are like box These are like boxes of chocolates because oh. they're really nice and... Oh. Why is that then? I just love them. It's just like... It's, it's cool. You just get everything you need in one box for one faction and that's it. Dark job done. So I've got loads now. I've got this one that no one's seen yet. So there you go. I've got the uh, what are they? The uh, the Guild Judgment, the Guild of Judgment. I've got two more coming. I should have um, another one waiting for me when I get in tonight. And I ordered a another Guild one. But the good thing about these now, they they double up in factions. So even though this is purely for this faction, there's another box that I've ordered where they work for two different factions, which is good. Anyway, not a matter of I haven't got a clue what you're talking about at all. I have no, no seriously, I don't because it's not something that I've ever um, looked at. Each of these is each box is a, is a different color with a little symbol on, and they they they're their faction. So they, this faction is the um, outcasts, but there's certain so their their primary color is yellow for their faction color. But if you get a box where the color is yellow, then it fades into a red. Obviously, you can use that that faction in two. Uh, two different factions, which is good. Comprende? I do comprende, yes. Yes, yes. So apart from um, getting, getting all excited and requiring tissues... Oh, don't give me... Uh, <laughs> I was watching um, Time Traveller's... Uh, the Time Traveller's... Time Traveller's Wife? No. It's a really good film. That. It's a really good film. You know, who's the boat that stars in um, Munich? Why are you asking me about film? I know nothing about films. I don't watch television, really. Although, although, hang on, although, if you're going to watch something at the moment, we're watching Orphan Black and it's brilliant. That's on Netflix. Is it? Yeah, it is. I've got Netflix, I can watch that. It's brilliant. It's oh, what, the new Orange wouldn't... is Black? No, that, 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 they're watching that as well, but there's, there's, it, 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 it's too rude. What's it called again? Orange is the New Black or something. It's about a women's prison. Anyway, back to reality. How are we going? What are you doing? Uh, really well, c considering I was sidetracked, <laughs> sidetracked uh, this morning, uh, sorting out that order. Yeah, I've um, 
but I didn't think it would be that difficult because I can use all my favourite colours, like cavalry brown uh, and a few other browns. So yeah, he's up to a point now where I can put a wash on him and uh, start working on the base because the base is all nicely done. Um, so yeah, nearly nearly finished, and then I can put some highlights on. Well, since since since, since we last spoke, I've done all of the little white bits. There you go, little white bits. So uh, what I'll do now is I've just got some blue to put on him and then I'll give him some uh, localised washing in black and then we'll cover up all my mistakes because there's quite a lot of mistakes like uh, where I've painted white on black and <laughs> red on grey. <laughs> it's white the new black? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Especially if it's one of these. And then um, do a quick highlight and we should be done. Ready, Ready, ready for the dip. Ready for the ready oh, dip? Yes, talking about the dip, right, somebody asked me the other day about their brushes going hard. Now, I tried to explain it, and what it what, what I do is I have oops, my dip brushes, okay, the brushes I use for my dipping, and they're always in a little bit of white spirit in a little pot, and it stops the, the bristles going hard and stuff. But because I'm not really that bothered about the brushes particularly, uh, but what I do, right, is if I'm, if I'm using the dip for a long time, you know, like say I'm doing like more than five figures, I'll have that and I'll just dip the end of the brush in in, in the white spirit uh, just to take the gunk of the dip off and rub it out on a towel. And then to pick up, like when it's gone a bit, if, you, if you've got a droplet or something, oops, something's fell out of me here. When you've got a droplet or something, um, of, of dip that's gone like a run, just a little bit of white spirit, and I just like tease it out, as it were, and blend it back in again. So that if that answers your question, then there you go. But you might not watch this because you might not watch all of my boring videos. But there you go. And they See, are very boring. They are, aren't they? They are rather boring. They're all a bit samey, really, aren't they? That um, that bit you've just done, the the ear piece, the, the, the amount of static noise that was just created, you probably edit that out anyway. Well, the, the most of you will be edited out. <laughs> no, but when you were moving around on your chair, we can hear The only the, like say, is simply because I've got a contract with the care and the community people, and they say that I have to include you to a certain percentage in my videos. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, it's not having any effect on my well-being. No, no, it isn't. But I, I mean, I was I was uh, released yesterday. Released. Released. I don't think so. I just, I, I just was. think it was. No, I'm, on, no, I'm on day release at the moment. You're on day release. Yeah. No, I'm not ready yet. Come back in an hour. It's all right. It's, um... Is your handler. Yeah. Two of them. It takes two to hold me down. It takes two. All right. Anyway, so shall we get on to do some painting? Oh, is that what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> now that you've done your Malifu plug, where can you buy them Malifu from? Uh, at the moment. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we can, aside of more gaming, can can get them in stock easy. Yeah. On Facebook, at the moment, I've only got I've only got um, Malifu cards in stock and and a rule book. Asylum War Gaming website is now moved to uh, Facebook, so if you go to the Facebook page, you'll see them. Yeah, well, we'll put we'll put the link in below um, in the thing, and um, there you go. All right, catching a bit. There's an evil rumor going around that you finished. Yeah, and I I didn't start till after you. Yeah, yeah, because you're such a perfectionist. I just slap it on and get it done. Well, you didn't have all, you didn't have all the straps and belts and no, no. brocade and buttons and. Um, I, I've, I've finished so much that I'm, I'm starting to make me uh, the Malifo uh, Lady of Justice up. More Malifo. Shameful, shameful. Uh, considering this is supposed to be a historical video. Well, before we, before we carry on, let's go and have a look at what I've done then. Right, so here's my progress so far. Um, I think I've got all the base colours on them. What I'm going to do is uh, go with the white with the black wash, like I said. Um, once I've done that, I'll just probably just put a little bit of brown here and there and then do the highlights, and then they'll be ready for dipping. Right then, so welcome back. There, That's my position. That's where I am. Uh, I'm sure Nick is going to send us a photograph of his. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, I'm just waiting for the PVA to uh, finish drying on my uh, hot lamp. Right. And, uh, so it's good. It doubles up as a drying facility as well as a, a vision 
aid of vision, vision of aid. But what we'll probably do is we'll probably drop it in about now. So uh, there you go. Look at this, that. Fantastic. This is this, this this is what's Nick's done. Unbelievable. Uh, you know cheers, what? VK, for sending me the figure, by the way. Yeah, cheers, VK. Um, we'll put a link into VK's channel because he's obviously contributed to the video. So there you go. Uh, that's cool. Right then, any final thoughts? Anything you want to discuss? Or Well, let's talk about um, <laughs> Britex. <laughs> no, we will not talk about Britex. Whatever, whatever. No, 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 no. Why do you always have to try and turn turn me stuff into something that it isn't? I know. Is there anything else in that tumbleweed of a brain of yours? Um... um um, the thing is, the thing is, right, normally, right, we sit here and we're painting, you see, and what happens is that he never shuts up, right, he just, he just constantly babble, babble, yakety, yakety, babble, babble, yakety, yakety, it's like and it's, 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 it's just, it, it, do you know what I mean, he just never shuts but the moment, the moment you turn the camera on, he's like, Bleh. I don't want to so. There you go. What more can I say? Uh, well, I'm trying to find my circular flow, and I, I can't find it. Your circular flow? You know, the one that's circular. So, you know, I don't like using the flat file, because I find that if you use the, the rounded one, it's better for getting... So you don't get much of a flat edge to it when you file. Yes, I know. Yes. A half yeah. round on a circular file. Yeah, yeah, we we, we no, understand what you mean. Yeah. I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. But then my desk is an absolute mess. <gasps> Oh, but not as messy as yours, of course. No, my desk is a complete tip. But um, I'll have to clean it up, seeing as you're coming up next week. So Yeah. Excited. Yeah, I am actually, to, to, to finally actually meet you after, what, four, three years? Three years, yeah. Three, three years. years. So, yeah, you're going to let me in when I knock on your door? You just no. Sort of... <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Ka Karen will let me in. No, we're going to leave you outside. I'll let Owen in, but you have to stay outside, you want. <laughs> you, yeah, but I've got your birthday present. Well, this is true. So you can open up your little little flat window and say, chuck it in. No, I've got your um, I've got your uh, present. It's all done. It's all. Uh, I haven't wrapped it yet, though. Hopefully, yours will have arrived by next week. By the time you come. Yeah. Well, what have you got me? I'm not telling you what I've got you. What have you got me? Some decent brushes. Nope. No, nope. oh, I did really well for my birthday actually. I, 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 Claire got me a video and a couple of things, and I managed to. Uh, I did I, I, well. Um, Steve got me some nice bits of Guild Ball, and I and Owen he got me a, a Guild Ball figure, and then I I spent some eBay money and bought some stuff as well. I don't know. Shame on you. No, but what I have got is I've got the same figure for me, you, and Owen. Oh right. And it's a limited edition figure. Yeah? So I think it's a run of 500. Ooh. So what, what? Are you allowed to say the make? No. no. I'm not telling you anything more about it. You'll have to... Hopefully, it hopefully it will have arrived. It's, it was, it's released on the 1st of July. So uh, it, should, it should arrive well before you turn up. So Ooh, that'll be cool, exciting. won't it? So that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, we can do another paint in a day when we paint them up. Yeah, that'd be good. Anyway, so we're just wambling on now. What I'll do is... Um, wambling. 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 Did, I, did I say wambling? I did, didn't I? Not wambling. Yeah, it's, it's, my Jonathan, it's, it's my Jonathan Wass interpretation. Is that is that a cross between talking randomly, rambling? Yeah, we're just rambling on now. What I'll do is, as I normally do, because it takes 24 hours for my uh, finish to finish drying so as I can dull it down and, and show you so... That'll happen overnight, and I'll update. Uh, I'll, I'll put a little um, finishing bit on the on, on this. But as far as painting day is concerned, I think we're done, aren't we? Yeah, we're done. We're done. So another success that we can chalk up to uh, painting a day. Um, it's been good to do some uh, do some Brits. I haven't done any British for over a year. Yeah, technically, I did a Brit. He's British as well, isn't he? Is he? Yeah, yeah. I suppose he He's is. Really. He's a British archer, isn't he? Yeah. Sort of uh, insulting the French. Do you know why that they they stuck their fingers up? This it's is, a myth. It, it's a myth. No, it's not. It's, it's true. It's a myth. It, it, it's because if it, it was insulting the French by sticking two fingers up, because they know that if they get captured, they get them chopped off, because the, the French know that they're the fingers they use to pick up their pints and eat their fish and chips with. 
So they know that if they take their two fingers off, they're bugger. They're going to starve to death and die first. Right, okay. Yeah. It's like Tommy Napa. So they couldn't be left handed then? Yeah. Fish, if an Englishman, fish and chips in his ale. That's all, that's all that matters. Anyway, let's go and have a look, look, look at my finished product then. Okay, so uh, here they are. Uh, done. They've been dipped um, and then matte varnished down. And uh, I think they turned out quite well. Um, like I say, they're for uh, Song of Guns and Shakos. Um, it's not one of the major projects, you know what I mean? I just do it whenever I feel like doing one of these. You know, a little individual figure or a couple. And I just do one. Uh, so I've already got uh, the lights for it. So they are a skirmish unit as well for the British. And then I've got uh, a grenadier and uh, another centre company dude. These are all front rank miniatures, but. That's just two more done, and um, yeah, it turned out all right. Well, I'm pleased with them anyway. So there you go. Right. So there we are then. That's what I've done. Yeah, that's crap. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> that's a great comment coming from you, <laughs> Mister. Everything's got to be brown. Yeah. Anyway, so thanks for watching this uh, painting a day. I hope we've passed at least fifteen, twenty minutes of your time while you've been painting along. So. Uh, we love you and leave you. So it's bye bye from me, and it's bye bye from. Bye bye, everyone. There you go. Does that make you feel important? I'll tell you, they, they are, I'm starting to need them now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, my focus has gone from... from uh, I can't focus there anymore when I used to be able to. Too much wanking. Mm.